Based on the eponymous Spotify podcast, The Horror of Dolores Roach is an original horror comedy series on Amazon Prime. Dolores Roach, the star of the show, is a prison inmate who was given a lengthy sentence for a crime she did not commit but is now free. Dolores tries to make peace with her past, but when she finds herself at the center of gory and vicious killings, her hopes for a better future are destroyed. Dolores does everything she can to hide her new misdeeds because she doesn't want to go back to prison. If you're curious about whether Dolores's mission is successful or not, here is everything you need to know about the ending of The Horror of Dolores Roach. Spoilers ahead. The Horror of Dolores Roach opens with actress Flora Frias playing the role of Dolores Roach in a Broadway musical. Dolores was involved in a series of cannibalistic murders, which led to a podcast bringing her story to light. Backstage, Dolores visits Flora to set the record straight about what transpired in her life. The story then jumps back in time to the Washington Heights neighborhood of New York City, where Dolores lives with her then-boyfriend, Dominic, a drug dealer. In a drug bust, Dolores was arrested and sentenced to 19 years in prison. Dolores looks for Dominic after being let out of jail, but is unable to locate him. She goes the empanada shop in her former building because she has nowhere else to go and meets Luis Batista, a buddy from her past. Luis offers Dolores a place to stay until she can get back on her feet when she informs him of his predicament. During her stay in prison, Dolores studied massage methods from her sweetheart Tabitha. With Joy's assistance, she makes an unsuccessful effort to land a job as a masseuse. Later, she opens her own massage business in Luis's shop's basement. Dolores's situation improves, but she is plagued by memories of Dominic. One day, Gideon Perlman, the apartment complex owner where Luis and Dolores live, arrives to collect his rent. However, Luis has failed to pay him because of poor business income. Gideon and Luis argue while Dolores tries to defuse the situation. She gives Gideon some money to buy more time and offers him a massage. However, when Gideon misbehaves with Dolores, she kills him by snapping his neck. Dolores scrambles to cover up the crime, but when she returns to the basement, she finds the dead body missing. Luis claims that he has taken care of the situation. However, Dolores quickly realizes that Luis has used Gideon's body to harvest meat, turning it into a recipe for his empanadas. Meanwhile, Dolores searches for Dominic and hires Pi Ruthie to learn about his whereabouts. Ruthie reveals that Dominic died in a house fire in the Dominican Republic. On the other hand, Jonah, the son of Gideon, arrives at the shop to inquire about his father's whereabouts. While Luis distracts Jonah using Gideon's phone, he takes Ruthie's help to find his father. In the meantime, Dolores kills Marcy, who took over Dominic's business, after she reveals that Dominic set up Dolores and cheated on her. As Dolores's body count rises, Luis gets more meat for his empanadas. At the same time, more people arrive at the shop searching for the missing people as Dolores and Luis find themselves in a bind. Does Dolores get away with the murders? When Dolores and Luis decide to leave the city and begin a fresh life, things go awry in the finale. However, they are unable to raise the funds needed to close the empanada shop and leave the city. Jonah, in the meantime, finds his father's remains in the freezer at the business. Dolores is consequently compelled to murder Jonah. She commands Luis to dispose of the corpses. To avoid the crisis, Luis has a plan, although it is incredibly foolish. He moves the dead bodies into the apartment of his waitress Nellie. Later, Luis makes a call to the police to report the bodies. As a result, Nellie is detained by the police and charged with killing Gideon, Jonah, Marcy, among others. After Dolores learns that Luis is behind Nellie's arrest, she is repulsed and plans to abandon him. The police arrive to search every corner of the building, putting Dolores's future at risk. In the meantime, Dolores kills Joy and Jeremiah after they nearly stumble upon her secret. Moreover, Luis attempts to stop Dolores from leaving, as he is unwilling to give up the empanada shop, which he considers his legacy. Dolores berates Luis for his cannibalistic nature and attempts to leave, leading to a fight between her and Luis. In the fight, Dolores slams Luis's head into the deep fried, while getting the burn mark we see her sport in the first episode. Dolores eventually leaves the crime scene and departs from New York City to begin a new life. 
the murders appear to go unpunished thanks to Luis's scheme. However, with Luis also appearing to be dead, no one can be held accountable for the cannibalistic killings. Dolrose is consequently compelled to hide and go underground. She is the only employee of the shop who survived the bloodbath, therefore the police are probably looking at her as the culprit. The podcast and stagaplay created by Caleb, who resides in the same apartment building as Dolores and Luis, offer a comparable interpretation. In the climactic moments, we find out that Dolores has come out of hiding to avenge Caleb. Who does Dolores meet at the house? Dolores clarifies her version of events before revealing that she is attending the show to meet Caleb because he benefited from her life stale. Caleb is harmed by Dolores, who also nearly kills him. By pledging to take Dolores to Dominic, Cleve manages to spare his life. Since Dominic set her up to be held responsible for his drug enterprise, Dolores has been plagued by the crimes of her ex-boyfriend. Dominic may have faked his death and is still alive, according to rumor. She finds out that Dominic is still alive through Sophie, Nellie's grandmother, who is linked to him. Sophie tells her that Dominic sends her a gift every Christmas through a white woman with an Australian accent. But Dolores never succeeds in getting through to Dominic. Dolores is accompanied by Caleb to a mansion where it would appear that she will meet Dominic. However, when the entrance to the mansion opens, Dolores screams with laughter at who she sees on the other side. But we cannot see the individual. Instead, as Dolores tries to choke the victim, the film goes to the credits. Dolores probably meets Dominic, and she murders him for ruining her life. 